It's a system of environmental economic accounts. And the idea is to take, recognize the fact that our lives, uh, human lives, uh, depend on nature. Nature is a factor, a capital asset out there, which is producing all sorts of services for us and products, some tangible, many intangible. The tangible ones like fish or timber uh, we observe and up to a point we can uh, we recognize their worth. Uh, we, we can observe that we have institutions which, which, under which they are mismanaged. For example, fisheries in the open oceans, uh, they're overfished. And so we can do something about it. But there's a lot of hidden services that nature provides. We don't observe them, but they're there. Forests churn out stuff, which some of which we can extract, but in the process by which those stuff is that stuff is produced, we don't observe. It's tiny microorganisms doing their job. Um, so the chance of that kind of service being neglected in economic calculations is extremely high, uh, and it's mostly ignored. So. Our economic system, including markets, for the most part ignore ecosystem services. Uh, they don't enter into the calculations of firms when they decide on investment activities. Uh, and governments very often do the same, uh, fall, um, fall in the same error. But in order for them to take natural capital, nature's capital, into account in making decisions. They need to have an account of what is out there, what it's producing, what are the losses that would occur uh, if you don't take them into account. So SEA is in principle nothing mysterious about it. What it is doing is to offer an account of the economic system as it actually is. And in a way, it's a bit sad that you have to add the word environment in it, as though it's something outside the economic system. But that's because we have got used to ignoring it, and so you have to remind yourself all the time that there is the environment as well, which is a factor of production. It's part of our economic system. I would like to see a day when you don't even have to use the word environment, because uh, we should think of it in the same way as we think of buildings, roads, um, and all, and computers. We don't suddenly talk about the, the economics. Uh, here's a system of accounts which are uh, economic and uh, uh, infrastructural. Because it's, we know that infrastructure is needed part of our lives, uh, but uh, it will be some time before we take nature seriously enough to recognize that it's more than just something, to, uh, it's more than an amenity, it's really a uh, part of our production structure. So that's the justification for SEA and the very fact that we have to explain it is a sad state of affairs. Um, it's hard work, and the reason it's very hard work producing SEAs in a comprehensive form is that for a variety of reasons which, uh, which are now, at least now, are now familiar, it's very hard to place, there are no hard values that are observable. There are, very often there are no market prices. So if you ask after the value or the worth of this table in front of us, at a pinch I would say, well, how much does it cost to replace it? Because there will be a price. But if you ask what the, what the damage to a system would be if a whole bunch of microorganisms were eliminated through some pesticide, you can't put a market price for those objects. So, much of the research people like myself have done has been to, and much of the research that's done at DMET, uh, 
is designed to tease out approximate values, social values of all that stuff out there which we make use of but we do not pay for. And we want to use those values, those prices, those simulated prices, those hypothetical prices in, make, in reaching decisions. So it's totally imperative and it's a sad fact that we're in 2013 and we're just beginning. We should have been doing this for the last 30, 40, 50 years. Thank you.